Hi, my name is Zhe Wen. I'm a third year medical student from UNUS Graduate Medical School. My undergraduate degree was in chemical engineering. Hello everyone, my name is Chi Wai. I'm also a third year <coughs> medical student in Duke NUS. I graduated with a bioscience degree from NTU. And our journey in medicine began three years ago when I first met Zhe Wen on Applicants Day. Yeah, I remember um, meeting you on Applicants Day <laughs> and um, I was very impressed by you because I, you. I thought that you were a really eloquent and articulate um, person. But to be honest, um, I felt that you were a very strong competitor and I had close to zero chance of getting into medical school. And I suppose most applicants would, would feel that way that um, other people are actually stronger than them and they will be having a tough time in um, getting into medical school. I think it's quite a normal feeling. Most of us would feel that way at different points of our life. <clears throat> it's important to get over these kinds of feelings and think of where our strengths are, I suppose, and you know, show the world what we are best at doing and you know, also be mindful of what our weaknesses are and probably try to you know, correct them over the years. And we shouldn't you know, try to magnify our weaknesses and think that we are not as good as other people. And I suppose Duke and US would be a good place for you to find out what your strengths and weaknesses are, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah, and um, then fate has brought us together. Mm. Um, in first year, um, we happen to be in the same team. Yep. And I guess in, in Duke and US in your <coughs> first year, it's really no bed of roses. It's very challenging when you, know, you spend a lot of time studying together as a group. And that is very important because you rely on your teammates a lot for support and head servant. And hopefully he felt that you know, he had his whole team supporting him as well to learn you know, all the lingo coming from an engineering background. I suppose that must have been quite a challenge for you. Yeah, I suppose um, most of us in um, Duke NUS Medical School are trained and educated in, in different ways. Um, there are times where we can actually contribute to the team. Um, on the other hand, there are times where we need help from the team. As an engineer, my, my biggest concern was the lack of um, basic science knowledge um, in the biology aspect. But fortunately, I had a very good team support. Um, for example, Chi Wai and the, and the team actually organized study sessions for me and helped me along the way. Mm. So even though first year was tough, I suppose all of us got through it. And you can build very strong relationships throughout your first year by you know, studying together, living life together, and you know, can overcome a lot of these challenges as a team, I suppose. So even if you feel that you don't have the necessary background, I suppose you can come in and rely on you know, all your teammates and your mentors would help you along the way as well. And when I first met Zerwa, I knew he was very special because as an engineer, he came in with you know, no lingo at all. And you know, eventually he's probably one of our better candidates now in third year. Um, in case applicants are wondering, um, medical school is not all about books. Um, the school does have uh, practical lessons for us. I still remember the first time when I got to use my stethoscope <laughs> and actually um, looking at a cadaver. Um, in addition, um, we also had numerous um, voluntary events. Uh, perhaps Chi Wai, would you like to tell us about um, Camp Simba, um, which you had participated in? Sure, I took part in Camp Simba when I was in my first year, together with you know, my classmates and seniors. It is a camp organised for children whose family member suffers from cancer. And really the whole purpose of this camp was to provide some respite for these children to enjoy activities outside of the home where it may be a bit stressful for them. So we organised this camp with that hope in mind and the kids really loved it You know, when they joined us for the camp. It's a three-day, two-night camp um, during their June holidays. And we still organise you know, um, annual events for them to join for reunion and we'll meet them a few more times throughout the year where we spend a day you know, in different theme parks and so on for them to spend some time away from home. Yeah, and you know, sometimes we think first year is really so busy with all mm. the academic stuff, with all these practical lessons. How do you still find time for all this? It's really interesting, but we still did. And most of us took part in multiple events and not just one. So apart from Camp Simba, which is a local event, so when I know you went over to Thailand, to this Karen tribe. Would you like to share with us, you know, how lucky it is to be in Singapore in an urban city when yeah. you spend your time there? Sure, Chirai. Right. Um, this this Karen tribe, um, this event is called uh, Project Karen. Mm. It was spearheaded by Tatsin, one of our first batch of students who had um, since graduated. Yeah. So Project Karen, it's about um, going to Thailand. Um, 
doing health screening mm. and educating the Karen tribe people um, so that they can have better health care. Yeah. Um, it was a really memorable experience for, for those of us who went, um, leaving behind the concrete jungle and reaching out to these people um, who don't have that much of a technology. Yeah. Um, they never failed to give us a smile and it was indeed a very um, inspirational um, event for, for us. It's really amazing, isn't it, when we you know, look back at the first year and reminisce all that we have been through in a short one year. It really feels like 10, isn't it? All that we have done in, in this short period of time. And then we moved on to second year when you know, we were really anticipating what it is like to be in second year where we live and breathe like a clinician, like a doctor. At the same time, we had a tinge of nervousness, you know, not knowing what to expect and we thought it would be quite a huge mountain to climb, isn't it? Um, indeed, I, mm. I do remember at the start of second year, our Dean, uh, Dean Ranga, told us how our learning curve will change from one that's 45 degree to an exponential one. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Coupled with a total change in um, environment from one that's controlled um, to the real world out there. Yeah. So I guess, yeah, we started second year where in the start, at the start of the day, you would visit your patients in the wards. And then after that, you would then join your mentors either the surgeons in operating theatres or your physicians in the clinics to see patients. And then you end off the day, you know, seeing your patients again and finding out how they are doing. And it was quite interesting for us to be able to spend so much time with, with our patients compared to, you know, students maybe in other medical schools, isn't it? Yeah, true. Um, maybe people would like to know you will be rotated through um, six clinical rotations, uh, namely surgery, um, mm. internal medicine, obstetrics and gynecology, neurology, psychiatry, uh, last but not least, um, pediatrics. Mm. Um, the way the rotation is structured is such that um, one to a maximum of maybe two students are attached to a senior doctor, um, following him and being taught by the doctor. Um, this adds a very personal, uh, personalized uh, touch and education method, which is um, not found in other medical school. Mm. Yeah. I guess what helped us a lot you know, in second year was that we learned that we have got to move out of our own comfort zones. We have got to learn about the different personalities of your mentors, of other doctors in the team, you know, of the nurses, of your patients and even their family members. And when you start to learn about all these things, you learn a lot about yourself as well in the process as you, you know, begin on a journey of self-realisation about what are your own strengths and weaknesses, what are your own personalities and how we can adapt to all these different challenges. I guess it was quite rewarding for us in the end, thinking about all these. And you know, most of us did quite well. And at the end of the day, our mentors have our best interests at heart. And if we can learn you know, to engage with them, they will teach us you know, a lot of things in their own different ways. Yeah, yeah each uh, rotation is unique um, because um, doctors are different and the clinical skills that you learn are different. Um, second year is also a good chance for, for students to find out um, which aspect of uh, medicine they are interested in and um, possibly considering what they would like to do in the future. You know, so given the rigours of medical school, I suppose our family members will come up to ask us from time to time, why do we still want to you know, do it at our age? And I guess for me at least, you know, I was very passionate about medicine and I kind of convinced them along the way that you know, if you are passionate about something, we should be given every chance to do it. And I was quite fortunate to have very supportive family members. And as we all know, medical school is not always a bed of roses. There will be a lot of challenges along the way. And support from our family is really important, isn't it? Yeah, indeed, um, family support is very important. Um, some of us are in, um, in a relationship, um, while some are, are married. Um, there will be times when, um, when you may question yourself um, if all this is worth it. Um, however, when support comes in from um, your partner, um, your family, um, your friends, then like what you mentioned, mm. um, passion is the motivation that, that keeps you going. Not to mention um, some of our classmates who are married are actually doing very well. Mm, indeed, yeah. they are. So if you are passionate in a career in medicine, I will strongly advise that you apply to Duke NUS because the process of application allows you to find out you know, who you really are, it allows you to find out what your strengths are and at the same time acknowledge your own weaknesses. 
And when you are truly interested in a subject, I suppose you will be very interested to learn more about it and you will definitely find the person to guide you along in this journey of medicine. Yeah, so I, I don't think you should let age or mm. perceive uh, mediocre grades be a deterrence in pursuing a medical career. I believe that if you put your heart into um, doing something that you are passionate about, you would always have the potential to excel um, more than the others. So, Chiwai, um, how old are you? <laughs> 